Welcome on YouTube family. My name is Eric. This is the Eric Evolving channel. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. So today I'm doing a little bit different type of video. Generally, I do videos about TAMP on this channel, but I recently got my CompTIA A plus certification. So now I am certified um, and uh, I wanted to give my video on how I got my certification because these types of videos were helpful to me that other people put out. So here we go. I actually waited until um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, they had a sale going on and they'd sent an email regarding the sale. So I was like, perfect. So my, you know, my shopping, my Black Friday shopping was just on CompTIA exams. Um, the exams themselves are about $200 each, and you have to take two, a core one and a core two. But what they were doing, uh, they were actually offering packages and, and more discounts if you purchase a package. So what I purchased in my package was the exam, uh, both exams, core one and core two, and it had a retake option because I, I wanted that extra security just in case I didn't pass it the first time. So I'd, I'd be able to, to retake those exams free of cost. Um, it also had a study book and also a cert master uh, practice test site that you'd have access to. So all in all, I paid just over $600 for, for all of that and when you purchase the test, you don't have to schedule the test right away. So you purchase the vouchers and then you have time to schedule it. One of the things that I did was once I purchased it, I knew that I would, I would get serious about it because I knew I didn't want, I, I wouldn't want to lose my money. I wouldn't want to lose $600, just purchase it and not do it. So that was the first step for me to, to push myself to actually start studying. I put my date out for like just over three months. So I think in January, I put the date in for uh, March 31st and April 1st. And I decided that I would do my core one and core two back to back. Yeah, day one, the 331, I did core one. For April 1st, I did uh, core two. Uh, I recommend doing them close together, maybe not that close. But I would definitely say do them close, maybe a week, week the minimum, or, yeah, two weeks, three weeks. But I wouldn't say to do them more than a month apart. Um, a lot of what both exams cover, there is some overlap. So I found that I watching videos was a lot easier for me than actually purchasing a book or doing anything else. So I watch Professor Messer on YouTube absolutely free great guy great content um, I also purchased a Groupon um, for ITU online they have a bundle that in, that yeah, includes CompTIA A plus Network plus and a bunch of other um, certifications and uh, that cost me 60 bucks so $60 for that plus um, you know plus professor Messer which is free so that's 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 that was all my study material. I didn't buy any books, I didn't do anything else because I realized very early on that yeah, you know, reading the book and stuff like that was was not going to be ideal for for me for how I learned. So what I did was I watched all of um Professor Messer videos, also did his uh study group. Then I started doing the ITU online uh course. The gentleman that does that does the videos uh, for that um, you know course that they offer, very interesting guy. I'll say it like that. Very interesting guy, but yeah, the way that he breaks down the material, some of the stuff I understood better when he explained it than when Professor Messer did. The other good thing about watching the videos on the ITU online site. They give you a quiz. They, they give you a quiz after each uh, module that you complete. So then I moved on to the cert master stuff where I would do the practice um, practice exam, which which I think was 
was awesome was 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 definitely worth getting because that was that kind of put me over the top right towards the end when I was gonna go take the test so now we could fast forward to March uh, 31st day of the test go in and um, you know I I am in Tampa Florida so I actually went to a testing center that's down in Riverview Florida went in you had to give two forms of ID yeah take everything out of your pockets you know the young lady brought me in set me up at a computer I get on the computer and um, yeah they kind of start telling you the rules you know you have 30 minutes to kind of review all the information and then once the the exam starts yeah you are um, you have 90 minutes so boom so go through read it read everything boom I started the exam was a bit nervous and on my exam, the first set of questions that came up were these performance-based questions. And I don't know if I was nervous or what was going on, but like I almost kind of freaked out, didn't know exactly what I was doing or how to do it. And this actually happened both days, when I was doing Core 1 on March 31st and when I did Core 2 on, on April 1st. First set of questions are these performance-based questions. The good thing is that, uh, and I remembered watching several videos that you have the option of flagging the questions to, to review. So all my performance-based questions, I, you know, I looked them over. If I if I kind of could kind of figure it out, I did it. But I also but I still flagged it and then continue on, continue on. I started going into the. Um, into the multiple choice questions. Multiple choice questions were good at the, at the towards the end of the exam, it brings up um, your, yeah, to a review page. And on the review page, it shows all the questions that were flagged and even just all the questions. You could click into each one to, to review them again. Went back into the performance-based questions. And as I said, this happened on both days. Now it all made sense to me. Now everything kind of was like calmed down. Now it was good. So I went and answered all the performance-based questions. And then I submitted my exam. It asked you, yeah, it, it asked you, are you sure you're ready to submit? I was like, yes. On both exams, I finished, I think on, on the core one, I finished about 10 minutes early. And on, on the core two, I finished about five minutes early. I found that the core two was a little bit harder for me. To, it was a little bit more challenging for me to come. But you, what the, the, the crazy part was, or funny part, was you submit the exam and I'm looking for the answer. Like, well, yeah, did I pass, did I fail? Nothing. It brings you into a survey, 13 question survey. I'm like, just let me know if I pass. So we you know, went through all those questions and then at the very end, after submitting that survey, then it says, yeah, you're pa yeah you've passed. Yeah. And it gives you your score and everything like that. So thankfully on both days, uh, it was pretty much the same thing. And um, I passed both days, just doing them back to back. So that's how I got my certification in two days. I said, if you're out there, if you're trying to get your certification, it's definitely doable. It definitely takes a bit of studying. Um, but yeah, if you have questions, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'll be more than happy to, to kind of provide any help that I can. But I'm so happy and so proud that I was able to, to complete this. Um, maybe thinking about doing the Network Plus next but um i'm gonna give myself a little bit of time before actually jumping into that so let me know how you guys did or how you guys do and um, listen good luck thanks for watching the video guys please like comment subscribe i'll see you in the next video peace